guys, it's Kay. Welcome back to Pubneek Organizing, organizing for real life. So today we're going to talk about something that is a luxury in a small apartment or a condo, and that is a laundry room or a laundry closet. As someone who's been living in the city for almost 20 years, I know that having a washer and dryer actually inside of your apartment, as opposed to downstairs in the basement or like down the hall, is exceedingly rare and quite a luxury. And if you are lucky enough to actually have a washer and dryer inside of your unit, it can often be inside a tiny little closet like I have. When my husband and I were shopping around for condos, we uh, did notice on the booth plans there was a little tiny laundry closet. And uh, when I came to actually see it, I was shocked about how small it was. Because it's our washer and dryer. Not much room for anything else in this space. But my little organizer brain went to work. I came here when it was still under construction with my little like measuring tape and uh, my phone to take some pictures and I came up with, I think was a pretty good solution for storing everything we need for the laundry in there. So if you're interested to take a look at what's inside my tiny, tiny laundry closet, please stay tuned. And just as a reminder, if you're not subscribed to the Hubney Organizing channel, please subscribe by clicking that button and also press the bell so you get notified when I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All right, let's check out the space. All right, so as far as location, it's got a pretty central location. This is actually, um, uh, right outside of our kitchen. Um, we have an open floor plan. This is our living room. Um, and you can see the pup there. He's having a nap. Um, and there's our bedroom. And here is our laundry closet. Um, we have a laundry hamper pretty close to the closet, which um, we do share. It is divided. This is my husband's side and this is my side. Um, so it's cl pretty close to the laundry so that we don't have to procrastinate. We can just do it whenever um, it gets full. And uh, let's look inside the closet. So as you can see, it is very, very small. There's just enough room in this space to ha to hold the washer and dryer stackable. That's actually the water heater in the back and some like water controls back there as well. So I was like, where am I gonna put the ironing board? Where am I gonna put the iron? And where am I gonna put all of our like laundry soaps and additives and things like that? I used this little nine inches of space <laughs> to put all that stuff, and I'm actually really happy with the way it turned out. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna show you is this over door um, iron holder and ironing board holder. Um, this is pretty great. It holds everything very securely. It uses the door so that it's not just being a door. Um, I did feature this in another video, uh, but I'll talk a little bit more about it. Um, it was relatively inexpensive. I believe it was like between like 10 and uh, $15, but I'll put I'll put a link down below in the description if you want to check it out on Amazon or something like that. Um, this ironing board, truth be told, was a little long. Um, it was dragging on the floor whenever I opened and closed the door. So these are actually um, little pieces of foam that I was using when I broke my pinky <laughs> to exercise my pinky. Um, when I was uh, done doing physical therapy, I just cut these in half and I'm um, stuck them on here and they've, they've, they've risen the iron up just enough so that this wood doesn't drag on the floor. So this is a really great reuse of that. And uh, my pinky is okay, if you're wondering. <laughs> I fell down the stairs and broke my pinky. Always hold on to the banister. Always. Always. All right, anyway. Um, up here on top of the dryer, we actually have a like sweater drying rack. Um, I only use that when I wash my sweaters. My husband actually uses it every time he um, washes his clothes because he doesn't put um, everything in the dryer. He's... Um, hand hand drying air drying a lot of his shirts and things like that so that lives up there and it just simply comes down whenever we need to dry it there is also a, a foldy rack this is a complete clothing garment rack so if I need to hang anything particularly long um, I can unfold that and put it in the apartment and dry things that way I'll insert a picture of what it actually looks like when it's um when it's unfolded it just sits right here in this little corner very neatly and securely. Um, this little like cap washing thing hangs out here as well. And here you can see 
there is the water heater. So I needed a solution that I could move out of the way so that we could actually access the water heater um, so that if it, there was anything wrong or we needed to, we, I've had to reset the water heater actually a couple of times, I could easily get to it. And this little rollout, um, what is this thing? <laughs> this is a rollout tray. It's a cart, got it. <laughs> This little rollout cart was going to be the best solution. I only had about nine inches of space between the end of the washer and dryer and the opening um, to fit any solution. So that's what I did there. In order to pull it out, I do have to open the door all of the way, but I mean, that is not a great sacrifice. So it just simply rolls out. I did purchase this. Oh, you have to get a little momentum first. <laughs> I did purchase this from the container store, but there are a number of um, varieties of the, of a very similar product. Um, there's even ones that are a little thinner. I think I've seen ones even that are four inches. Um, I'll link all of them down below so that you can check them out and, uh, let, I'll give you a little tour about what's on here. Just in case you're interested in nosy like I am, I'm definitely nosy. Um, this is a little food storage container that I reused for microfiber cloths. I use microfiber cloths to clean around the house and various things. These are actually the cloths that go on my um, robot mop. And if you don't know, microfiber uh, has to be uh, cared for a little in a different way than the rest of your laundry. You can't use um, heavy detergents. You can't use fabric softener. So it requires a little special care. You can't really dry it on high heat or else you'll ruin the effect of microfiber. So it has its own little hamper right here. And uh, whenever this fills up, it gets its own cycle in the wash. These are the most adorable little laundry balls, dryer balls. They look like little hedgehogs. Um, they sort of uh, will get the static out of your clothing uh, if you don't want to use fabric softener. They're super cute. They do make a lot of noise in your dryer, beware, um, but they, they do do a uh, bang-up job, pun intended. <laughs> Here are our laundry pods. We love to use these to just throw them right into the drum and they work really well. These are like the no scent uh, laundry pods. They don't have any color or fragrance. Um, that's just what we use. We have dryer sheets as well. Occasionally I do like to use dryer sheets just because um, static is evil and I have like old dryer sheets that I'm just really trying to use up here. These are like scented, heavily scented like Febreze dryer sheets. They're actually pretty old but they're almost gone so after that I won't buy any more scented dryer sheets. Um, and down here is where I was storing all of the um, specialty washers and additives. Um, I am a big fan of this Laundress line. Um, it's a little bit fancy, but I just, I don't know, I just like it. Um, there's a scented vinegar um, and a delicate wash. There's sweater wash here. And this is actually um, oxygen bleach, if you've never used that. Similar to OxyClean, actually probably the same thing as OxyClean. Um, helps whiten clothes. You can actually clean other things with it as well. It's awesome. And here I have some Fresh Wave. This is um, really great for removing odors and stuff like that. Here I've got a little... Uh, a little cracker jar full of baking soda. This is great for cleaning and in general and doing the laundry as well. If things are particularly stinky or stained, it works great, especially works really well with vinegar. Um, and I've got a little uh, measuring cup and a scoop to take care of that. Um, and down here, I've got a little cute little container and this actually holds um, my bra bags and a delicate bag is under there as well. So if I'm washing anything delicate in the machine, I'll just throw those on there before I throw them into the drum. And when um, I take the clothes out, I'll just put them back in here so that I don't lose them. And I know where they are. This belongs to the iron. This is a little like water iron holder. This is sort of a stain removing product place. Um, as you can see, we've got a variety of stain removers. Um, some of these are like from my husband's when, when he used to live alone and some of them are mine so we're sort of combined our collection and uh, are cycling through these products as you can see we don't get stains that often but when we do we are prepared um, I've got my little clothing steamer here I love this thing especially since I hate to iron do you hate to iron thumbs up if you hate to iron <laughs> I hate ironing I think it's like the worst household chore you can be doing. I know some people love to iron. My husband like loves to iron. I cannot stand it. Um, and down at the bottom, I've just got little extra cleaning things that I didn't want to put under my sink that are just hanging out here. 
got a little uh, vinegar, got some baking soda, whole new pack of baking soda because I do go through a lot of baking soda cleaning the house. This is actually baking soda as well, but it's in a little spice jar so that you can actually um, just sift it out. It's got one of those little like, um, oh, I can't do it with one hand. It's so difficult. It's got a little sifter on it. So this is really good if you um, are cleaning up uh, your carpet and you have, you know, pet odors or anything like that, um, or you can sprinkle it, you know, wherever. And it's a really great deodorizer. I, I prefer it to those like, I don't know, those like Febreze things you can sprinkle in your carpet and then vacuum up. You do the same thing with baking soda and it's much cheaper and it's a little better for the environment and better for your pets. Um, I got some, uh, What's this? I love seventh generation cleaner. <laughs> Got a little hydrogen peroxide, little alcohol, little uh, concentrated Mrs. Myers here. That is Barkeeper's friend back there. We're very careful to keep that carefully closed because it's, uh, I think it's a little bit caustic, but we use it to clean our copperware and it makes copper look brand new again. It's amazing. Um, and this is Nature's Miracle, just in case somebody pees on the carpet or somewhere, but that hasn't happened in a long time because Clover has become very, very good about not going inside the house. So I'm going to, you know, knock on wood that, but <laughs> I, we think we've got that licked. Uh, he's a very good boy. And that is my laundry organizing solution. And you can see if you, you could, it actually rolls all the way out. I've had to roll it out on several occasions because, um, you know, we've had um, contractors or um, handymen come and look at the water heater or at one point um, our washer and dryer, or no, just our washer had like the cold and water, cold, cold water and hot water um, mixed up like the, cold water was hooked up to the hot water and the hot water, I don't know, it was very screwy, um, but that got fixed. So having to move things out of the space to get into the space, um, the wheels have become very handy in that. So um, when I put it back, all I have to do is roll it all the way back in and voila, it is done. And in this little corner, this see, I had to take advantage of every little space in this laundry cabinet because I, I just have no space. So actually hiding underneath here are my little pop-up um, container here. Boom. <laughs> so when I take the laundry out of the machine, I can pop it in here and either take it to the bedroom or I can um, fold it here and I just gather it here. Here I also have, woo! This is actually a pop-up um, what is this, a basin? So you can put it with water and um, I can hand wash my sweaters in here if I need to do that. I don't like to do it in the sink all the time and the sink is not always available. So this is really handy when you know someone's using the sink and I can't use the sink or if I don't wanna like clean the sink first. This uh, is pretty clean and uh, it's great to soak things and clean my sweaters. And lastly, got hiding in this little corner, is my Flip fold, um, I think it used to be called flip and fold, but now it's called flip fold. It's a really cool little folding board. Um, I don't think this is worth the money <laughs> because as you can see, it the seams uh, don't last. Um, this one's probably gonna come loose as well. You can definitely like DIY this. Um, I'll link a video down below. I'll find something for you guys. Um, or you can buy this. I mean, it's a perfectly good little uh, folding board, but I, I don't think it's the greatest quality as far as durability. Um, but I do like to use a folding board because it just makes all my folds the same size. And I think it looks great when you put it in your um, drawer. You have all of your shirts looking the exact same size and it's just so cute. So that that is the little things I have hiding in this little corner. <laughs> it's like a little tiny secret corner that no one knows about. Look, and I have to like stick things in here like all secret like um but and this is really fun to do with one hand just to close this guy there we go not too difficult um actually things don't they don't uh it's not too bad getting things from that little corner it's actually really nice so there is the complete tour of the laundry cabinet i hope that you guys enjoy that and maybe it gives you a little inspiration for your own tiny tiny laundry space I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.